What's up you guys? Tonight I have a brand new subscription box for you. I just got off of work and before I went to work I stopped by the office and grabbed the box which apparently came in last week with the others that I did but um, I didn't check the tracking and I kind of left it in the office for like five days. But it's all good because they're cool with me and they're like okay whatever just pick it up <laughs> when you figure it out. Um, so yeah, I have it, and I am ready to share it with you. I'm so excited. So right here, we have the, ta-da, Box of Shadows, the Initiate. As you can see, I'm kind of like faded out letters. It says the Initiate. So this is supposed to be like a beginner's thing. Um, I'm a huge fan. Let me start by saying I'm a huge fan of Charmed. So when I saw that they had a Box of Shadows, it made me think of the Book of Shadows from the... Uh, show and of course you know it's kind of a witch thing uh book of shadows but um anyway i thought it was a really cool play on words and it reminded me of charmed and i'm into all this kind of stuff so i was like why not <laughs> baby why not um i'm trying to think what oh, what is what music video is that from yeah i can't remember it'll come to me later okay box of shadow the secret guide Securing and protecting our Midsummer's Blessings. So it's basically tells you the contents of the box. Um, sol solitary litho ritual. How to do that. Sun infused crystal protection talisman. Okay, so this is kind of like a... Yeah, so this is like the what's in the box and some how-to's. And there's two pages of that, so I'm going to look over that later, but I'm not going to obviously read all of it to you all now because it is two pages. So, yeah. Um, modern magics. Infused with magic from inception to creation, which made metaphysical supply. So I'm guessing that is um, the company that sponsored this box or made this box. And here we go. <laughs> I like to show y'all what it's kind of wraps like. Some of these are like in those net, like in a nest of those. Uh, I can't bring today. The nest of the paper, shredded paper, and I'm not a fan of that, honestly. I know it's kind of protective for your boxes to be, for the contents to be in that, but it is a mess. Let me tell you, it is a mess. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the first thing I see is a litha violet sweetgrass, two ounce soy candle. That is a mouthful. Oh, and it's got herb, herbs and stuff. Oh, wow. That smells amazing. What can, can I just say? Made with high quality fragrance oil, tiger's eye stones. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see it. Some stones in there. Lavender, thyme, vervain, vervain, and yarrow. Hand poured in a small batch to charge with the intent for litha. This candle is ideal for spells involving positivity, luck, and prosperity. Hmm. Yeah, I'm big on that. <laughs> and all things. Herbs chosen to encourage energy and growth for your summer solstice ritual. I can tell you this. It smells amazing. And that's kind of cool how they have, like, the thyme and the herbs and the little tiger's eye kind of infused into that. I'm digging it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> okay. And, wow. So, there is one, two, three, four things in here. So, um... <laughs> I'm going to say for the price, this, they really don't send you very many things. Just a little bit um, underwhelming. Let's see, but yeah, four things. Okay, so this is like a, it's got the Star of David on it, or the, sorry, I said Star of David. Is that the pentagram? I think, yeah, I'll have to look that up, sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a box. <laughs> I assume that has something to do with Wiccan something. <laughs> no, duh. Um, it does not say. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, candle, gemstone, inlaid altar. Okay, one celestial inlaid altar box. So that is an inlaid altar box. So I'm going to have to read up. It doesn't really say here on the on their little welcome letter 
what that does. Um, probably someone that is an active practicing Wiccan would know. Um, but that is new to me. So, cool. <laughs> and moving right along. <laughs> Some of the stuff I'm like, oh, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Whatever. Okay, so this is a... I'm just going to start, like, checking this list because I'm messing stuff up. One gemstone arrowhead, which, you know, it's probably, like, stones and crystals. It has some, uh, something to do with stones and crystals. Tiger's eye, of course. Um, I'm from, so there's five things all together, including the arrowhead. I'm familiar with Tiger's eye, and this actually feels like a very powerful piece. It's, sits very heavily in my hands. Um, if anyone knows about stones and crystals, you know, they kind of have a feeling. If you're in tune to it, they kind of have a feeling. And this feels very heavy, very powerful. Um, tiger's eye bracelet. Because I have a tiger's eye and it doesn't feel quite like this. This is pretty cool. Um, I think actually there was a description on there. there there's quite a lot. It's quite long, so I'm not going to read you the whole thing. But um, Tiger's Eye is a popular stone for grounding. Use it to help shed excess energies and find balance within and without. Especially when you are going through difficult phases in life or seeking to help make a new transition as smooth as possible. Use this newfound balance to help ease doubt and provide clarity and vision when you're making tough decisions. So, yeah, this is actually a really great bracelet. Um, it feels very heavy, very, feels very powerful, to be honest. Um, I really like this a lot. So, yeah, uh, happy with it so far. Dragon's Blood Incense Cones. <laughs> Dragon's Blood. Y'all are so funny. <laughs> and... Sorry, I'm not trying to just, like, read while this video is going on, but I was trying to see if there was some kind of directions for this, because some things you don't want to just, you know, start burning. Okay, so, the, well, okay, it's on the package. It says... Hold the tip of the cone over a flame. Wait till the tip burns evenly, forming a red glow. Blow out the flame and place the cone over the stand provided. Okay, so I'm assuming the stand might be in here. Hem incense cones are a blend of natural ingredients and fragrance, creation of traditional oils to enliven your surroundings. Okay, so it's like an incense thing. I guess we can open it and take a look. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, so the sand is in here. Here's the little sand. And here's the little cones. Apparently you uh, catch, you, you light these on fire, and then you set it in the sand, and you just kind of, I realize I just set that off camera, and you just kind of burn it. So they're kind of small, but I think it's kind of like an incense thing. Instead of the incense stick, it's an incense cone, so pretty cool. So, yeah, um, I will say this. I'm a little underwhelmed with one, two, three, four, five small, very small items. But um, other than that, you know, this is some interesting good stuff. I really like the candle a lot. It smells great. I can't wait to try it out. This is probably my favorite piece, the Tiger's Eye bracelet. I really like this a lot. It feels very powerful. Very. Um, I'm a big into stones and crystals type, and I really can appreciate something like this. The arrowhead, that's something, you know, I'm not feeling a connection to right at this moment, but maybe with some time to, like, kind of handle it and get a feel of it, I'll see if this is something that's going to be, you know, a really great addition to my Stones and Crystals collection. So that has potential. This I'm going to have to do some more research on. Um, and, you know, I can always use incense. So, yeah, overall, um, the items weren't bad. I'm just a little underwhelmed with this. They were small and only four or five items. So a little underwhelmed with that for the price, but it's an interesting, neat little box. I know they, I believe they have different sizes actually. So you can get like a bigger box, but it's a lot more expensive. So um, I'm not even going to try to shut that because I'm sitting here. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm going to finish reading this later and let me know what you guys think. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you're familiar with the Wiccan type stuff. Maybe you can give me some more insight onto that box. And as all, I love you guys.